The DRDO has said that the fabrication of leading edge of AMCA fighter jet with special material has been initiated at Hindustan Aeronautics, and the manufactured unit will then undergo structural and other testing before putting it in the first AMCA technology demonstrator. The leading edge flap is a small extension to aircraft's forward wing surface, that improves the airflow at high angles of attack and low air speeds, and also improves handling, and delays stall of the aircraft. HAL will now start manufacturing of all the parts that have completed critical design review, while the aircraft level critical design review is expected to be completed by July. Hindustan Aeronautics will unveil the first technology demonstrator by end of 2023, that will conduct its first flight by end of 2024, and the second technology demonstrator will roll out by 2025, that will be used extensively for developmental flight trials. The AMCA Mark I will enter production in 2031, while the AMCA Mark II will enter production in 2035. During the AMCA ceremony, the naval Tejas Mark I NP-5 was also spotted in the background, that is going through final stages of the assembly. It will take few more weeks before it is ready for its first flight, and will be used extensively as a technology demonstrator project for the 4.5++ generation twin-engine deck-based fighter program of the Indian Navy. The Indian Air Force Chief and Indian Defence Secretary met with the Chief of Argentinian Air Force Brigadier Xavier Rizak and senior officials of Argentine Defence Ministry, and they held discussions on tremendous opportunities for joint defence industry cooperation, and this meeting comes at a time when the Argentine Ministry of Defence has already confirmed, that India's Tejas Light Combat Aircraft is a key contender for its multi-role fighter jet program, and has allocated $664 million to procure fighter jets to enhance its air power. The Swedish division of the British company BAE Systems has announced that developing light tanks, medium tanks, future infantry combat vehicles and future ready combat vehicles on different platforms separately will result in three times the cost of technology transfer, as well as development supply maintenance and training costs, and the company has offered its CV-90 base platform to the Indian government. That will be an easy solution for all types of Indian Army requirements with a modular armoured system and interchangeable towers, that includes the next generation CV-90 adaptive battle tank with camouflage state-of-the-art stealth technology. Officials have said, that while the 155mm Danush Howitzer has cleared its firing trials yesterday, the 155mm ATAGS is also set to begin its last round of testing in the next few days. The chairman of Bharat Forge has said, that he is hopeful that not only the ATAGS, but the 105mm Garuda ultralight gun will also be inducted soon by the Indian Army, which has been tested for six months in the mountainous regions in both northern and eastern sector. The Indian Army has released pictures from the ongoing joint counter-terror exercise with the Japanese Army in jungle and semi-urban and urban terrain, in which Kalyani Group's enhanced collaborative autonomous system was being operated by the Indian Army, which is a multi-mission and multi-sensor all-terrain and amphibious unmanned vehicle, that features enhanced collision avoidance system and a threat analysis software, and is designed to perform surveillance security and rescue missions. The Indian Ministry of Defence has issued a request for information, seeking information from vendors to procure 800 high-capacity radio relays, that would be used in high-altitude mountainous plain and desert areas, which will securely transmit voice data and video for the Indian Army in fixed frequencies, and will use frequency hopping in the tactical battlefield. <laughs> Oh, Mark, dropped it.